If you've ever built any AI website and you thought to yourself, man, I wish I can clone this with Elementor, I think we're finally there. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to clone a lovable AI website and rebuild it completely with Elementor in just a few clicks. This has been one of the most requested videos I think I've ever had on this YouTube channel. So grab your favorite coffee. Let me walk you through how to clone an AI website with Elementor. Okay, so this is my current AI project I'm working on with Lovable, and this is the clone website with Elementor. Now, the great part about this tool is that it actually transforms the actual design, and it even texts the text word by word. So if you look at both of these right here, you're going to see they're virtually almost identical. Now, here is a side-by-side -side comparison of both websites, just to give you an example, but uh, typically this works pretty well. And let me just show you the website. So going back to my AI website, if we scroll down, you'll see that we have this section where we have shop products, open location, and we go to our uh, clone website and it's virtually the same thing. Now, this is probably the closest resemblance I've ever seen with AI. Uh, if we go to the next section, you'll see that we have this uh, other you know section and scrolling down, you'll see it's virtually the same thing. Now, you can check these websites. I will leave both of these websites in the video description just in case you want to look at the comparison. But uh, you can tell right here it is virtually the same exact website. Uh, let me walk you through how all this works. So the first thing that you're going to need to have is a Lovable AI website. You can just go to lovable.dev. You can go ahead and make an account. I'll leave a link in the description. And if we scroll down, you can just go ahead and quickly remix one of these projects just to test this out. I grabbed this one right here. So I just you know clicked on it. I remixed it. And that's basically where you make your own website using this template. And after you remix the website, you can then go ahead and make modifications and adjustments to your AI generated websites. Now we're going to take this same website and we are now going to convert it to Elementor. And here is the Elementor clone website. Now, before you guys buy the application, just watch the video all the way and I'll give you my personal take on this application. So if we scroll down and just take a look at some of these elements, uh, it does use a mixture of their elements and it also uses a mixture of Elementor elements as well. For example, this right here is one of the elements from the actual application. This right here is a normal text editor from Elementor. This right here is a dynamic list. And then also we have a button module just like any other Elementor website. Pretty standard, pretty basic. So let me show you the application that we're gonna use to clone this website. So this is the website that we can use to clone AI websites. Now, what's really cool about this tool is that it doesn't only clone Elementor, it also clones Webflow, Bricks, Breakdance, and Gutenberg. I know we all love Gutenberg out there, but yeah, it can clone any of these builders. So uh, once you get here, I'll click on buy it now. Now you don't have to buy anything right now. I recommend just to watch the video before you buy anything. But uh, with this right here, you'll see that you can, you know, clone two websites, not a lot in the free version. It just gives you like a taste. But if you want to clone like 30 or 400 websites, then you'll need to purchase the pro version. Now I've already bought the pro plan. So let me walk you through the pro dashboard. So once you purchase the plan, this is the actual dashboard. Now let's just start from scratch. I'm going to start a brand new project. So to create a new project, I'll click on add new project. And here I'll put a project name. I'll put YouTube tutorial. And then here I'll put the domain. So I'm going to create a brand new project. So right here, I'm going to select this rest recovery wellness. I'll click on this and I'm going to click on remix. Essentially what remixing is, is you are taking a copy of the actual website and then you can edit it and revise it as your own. Okay. And after that, you'll now see that we have the ability to edit the website and we have full control over it. So this is the actual AI website. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to publish this. So up here at the top right, I'll click on publish and I'll click on publish. Okay, so once we publish the application, you're gonna see we have a link. I'll click on this link. And here is the website live. So this is the fully generated AI website. Now we're gonna take this link right here. We're gonna copy it. And then we're gonna go to this website, Clone WebEx, and we're gonna paste that under the source domain and click on create project. Now we need to install the extension. So you do need to install an extension here. So I'll click on, click here to install extension. And this here is the extension that you'll need to install on your browser in order to clone the website. Now, I already have mine installed, but just make sure that you do install this extension because it is a requirement for you to clone a website. So once you install the extension, here I'll click on back. And now what we're going to do is we're now going to go to that other link. So let's go ahead and go back to our website. And then we're going to activate the extension. But before we do that, I want to scroll down on this website and I want the browser to read the entire website before we clone anything. So I'll go ahead and scroll all the way up and down. And then here at the top, I'll click on the Clone WebEx. I'll click on the YouTube tutorial, and then I'll click on Add Page. Once you do that, it's going to prompt open a new tab right here, and it's going to load the website in a whole new tab. 
So this is the Courage website, and uh, yeah, this is just showing you like a copy of it, but uh, this is not what we want. I'm just showing you that uh, the website's displayed, but it has an editor here open now on the right side. Now, what's really cool about this tool is that you can actually click on export type. You can pick specific sections of what you want to clone, or you can just say, you know what? I want you to clone the entire page. Here we have the page builder. This is where you can select your favorite WordPress page builder, like Guten Turd, it's a joke. Uh, Webflow, Bricks, Breakdance, and then also here we have Elementor. And the next option is the merge elements. Now what this does here is that this takes a mixture of their elements and also Elementor elements, and it combines them together on the same page. By doing this, it'll be a lot more diverse. You won't be stuck with their elements, so I do recommend to leave this on. Here we have the advanced settings where you can mess with the tablet and mobile, but I don't think you need to do that. Uh, but once you actually select the page builder here at the bottom, you'll click on exports. Now, if your website is very, very large, this application will give you a JSON file instead. So in my specific case, I can just copy and paste it with the actual browser. But if your website is really, really big, they'll just give you a JSON file that you can import directly with Elementor. Okay, so after we've copied this to clipboard, we now need to download a plugin. So over here, I'll put this page in the video description. All you gotta do is access this page and right here is a plugin that you need. I'll click on click here to download it and we're gonna upload this to our WordPress website. So let's go over here to our WordPress websites and go to dashboard and under plugins, I'll click on add plugin and then I'll click on upload plugin and then I will upload that plugin. So right here, I'll just drag and drop it, click on install now. And then bam, right here, you'll see the Softlight IO integration is now installed on my website. So now we can open up a new page and just copy and paste the actual website. So up here, plus new page, I'll put AI testing, click on publish and publish. Then I'll click on edit with Elementor. Okay, once that's done, I'm gonna make this a full width page really quick. So over here, page layout, I'll put Elementor full width. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm just going to right click and click on paste from other sites. And now it's going to clone the website. So this process might take anywhere between like one minute or two minutes. And whoo, it actually took around 15 seconds. So uh, here I'll go ahead and click off. And as we see, the website is kind of slow, but it's loading right now. So I'll go ahead and uh, close this. And here is the cloned website. So this is what the website looks like. And here is the original website. As you can tell, they are very identical. Here is also a side-by-side -side comparison of the same exact websites. I'll leave it up to you to decide, but I think this cloning process is getting better and better as time goes on. So this is the clone version of the actual websites. Now, there are some drawbacks with this and there are some things to note. Now, if you click on an element right here, a lot of these are elements from the actual uh, application. So if I click on plus right here and I scroll down, you're gonna notice that the developer actually inserted their own elements here. So they have like these like dynamic buttons and all these other elements. And these are the ones they incorporated on the design. Now there are some things that I did not like. For example, if I click on this button right here, you're gonna see that they're not using a button module. They're using this HTML code, which uh, I really think there's no need for this. And this makes things a lot more complicated. Now I've also noticed that with this builder, uh, it can get very glitchy at times. And many of the times I'm forced to just completely close the browser and start over because it gets really slow and it gets really elementary-ish, you know, you know how it is. Now, if we scroll down, I actually was messing around with this earlier. Now, I actually threw in a heading text, but you're going to see right here, I cannot highlight it. So it looks like it's completely bugged out or I can no longer click on it. I can click on this one, right? But I'm kind of scared to because I don't want to crash the website, but I'll go ahead and click on it. Here, I'll right click and delete this one. And it looks like this one, I can't click on it. So you can see uh, it can be somewhat glitchy, not fully glitchy, but you can notice noticeable glitches with this actual uh, builder. If I click on this one, you'll see this works just fine. But let's just go ahead and try to drag something in. So I'll go ahead and click on this and we're going to drag in a button, drag it right here. Works just fine. We can duplicate it. Everything works pretty well with these other elements. I've noticed though with their elements, it doesn't really like Elementor too much, so it can conflict at times. Uh, right here, I'll go ahead and click on this and you're gonna see nothing happen. So this is literally an element I dragged in, but I cannot edit it. So yeah, that's that. And if we scroll down to the rest of the website, you're gonna see they've inserted their own sort of elements. Now, again, I don't really like this because you know they have so much code over here, you can't really tell what's going on. So yeah, I don't really like the idea of them entering all this weird complex code inside of the elements because it's just really not how you make 
website to Elementor, right? Uh, scrolling down here, they've also added in their own little Dynamics Bach elements. And uh, these actually look pretty good. Uh, scrolling down here, it looks like a lot of these right here is using their own elements. So that's just something to consider. You can, you know, combine this with Elementor and stuff like that. But uh, I think in the future, I want them to see less of their elements and use more of Elementor elements because it looks like half of this page is just using their elements, which is which is fine. I mean, it works, but it's just like a very awkward way to build a website because you're not really used to their elements. Here, you can't really see what's going on and you have to like insert code inside of these lines, which is typically not how you make websites with Elementor. But overall, you know, you can make cloned websites using this tool. I think in the next year, you're gonna see these applications get better and better and better. And it's only a matter of time before other tools come out and they make the cloning process a lot more simpler and a little bit more accurate with AI and Elementor. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this tool in the video description. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people later.